they buy it. They love it. Rich people will pay for anything. They will pay for cracker crumbs on their body. It's awesome. Trouble of lotion. You have a lot of dead skin. I'm just getting it all out. It's oh, it looks beautiful now. You look like you're 16 years old. Look at these legs. Ah, oh, very very nice. Very nice. You're not supposed to bring your telephone into your massage. I disagree. You put it on silent. That's why they have a silent coat. One hand always has to be in the person. As long as you have one hand, they don't give a fuck what you do in the other hand. So you can text your boyfriend or girlfriend and be like. Mm, I'm thinking about sucking that big cock right now, or you're thinking about like, or fuck you dickhead, what are you doing? Or you can like text your mom and be like, hey, sorry I've been called, or you know, your kid's school and be like, oh, I'm sorry my kid choked someone today, sorry. Whatever, so you can take her business, multitask, while you're massaging. Finish up. Again, when you, before you flip over, it's always nice to do the little, um, um, healing touch thing, that's where the breath, rich people think breathing is like amazing. But you can tell them that like you're like, I don't know, sucking out evil energy from the center of the earth out of their body, you know, just make up some shit, they'll, they'll buy it. This is a good time to take a swig because once they turn over, no more of this. Get a, get a quiet flask, okay, so you don't hear this noise. They're not like, what are you doing? Mind your own business. All right, go ahead and flip over. For now, I'm gonna put your head in the face roll. Every time they flip over, I totally have this vision of like, is this not the perfect, you know, sitting on face activity? You can't do that in a massage, but it's something to try at home. If you have a massage table, put your partner here in this, Uchi wada wada, uchi bang bang. It's great, great like level. Okay, so actually since we're not, you're not eating my pussy, just just ski down. Ski your whole body down. Okay, there you go. Do you want to cover for your eyes? You want to cover for your eyes? Sure. Okay. This is great because then they're blind again and they can't see you anymore. Sometimes like dudes especially will like want to keep their eyes open because they want to watch you and they're being all perverted. I don't even ask them, I just put it on for them. They, they don't have a choice. Speaking of dudes, dudes sometimes, actually like 85% of the time, when they flip over, there's something new happening, okay? It's like, it's like this, right? All of a sudden there's like this extra limb, right? It's all right, you know, I mean, it's anatomy, it's physiology, whatever, shit, blood flow, whatever. They get one touch. They get one fucking adjustment because apparently when you turn over, it gets like tangled and you gotta, I don't know, you gotta like pull, whatever. You can have one, one touch. After the one touch, you say, give me the fucking hand. And usually, once you do that, the penis goes away, but not, sometimes they over to the side like this, this is okay, sometimes I like this, especially if it's like nice and big like this one is. It's kind of like a, just a nice ornament to look at while you're massaging. But hopefully if you do it correctly, it will go down pretty quick. If you give them the ice queen thing pretty correctly. Go like this. And then it's just kind of flaccid better okay they have to worry about this goddamn like tower like psh, every time you move them it's moving and then sometimes they try to do like their penis sit up push-ups uh, you know what i'm talking about they move it okay and like like i'm impressed by that like i don't give a fuck that you can move your penis so once you have this ever there's also the occasional man who will continuously try you know let's stop it for now because Pregnant ladies, they're a fucking bitch to massage because they can't lay on their back because like the blood flow to the brain, whatever, I don't know. So you gotta fucking turn them on the side. 
this is a bitch. Okay, you gotta fucking like do it like this, and it kills your wrist, it kills your back, and, and then you just gotta take it because they're in more pain than you. Don't forget, they're always in more pain than you, the client. Okay, pregnant ladies are especially annoying because they are the first people in the world, the only one who's ever been pregnant. They're the only person who's ever had a child, and they have, no one else has ever experienced the pain that they're going through. Don't forget that. Do not mention you have kids yourself, okay? That will take the wind out of their sails. They need to know they're the only ones who's ever experienced back pain, sciatica pain. That be prepared to talk a lot about baby names, what they can and cannot eat. Just, just the limitations in general, but also the joy, the joy of motherhood and how special it is. It's so special. It only happens like a million times a day. It's so special. Special. You want to shower them with specialness. Treat them like a princess. Treat them like a baby. You just want to baby them. That's what they want. Don't mention your kids. Don't forget. Do not mention that you've ever had a pregnancy in your life. Do you have kids? No. Um, yeah. What is it like? It's amazing. So magical. Wow, I bet. It's just nobody the, understands. I know. I bet the pregnant body is so beautiful. Mm, it is. Yeah. My husband says I'm fat, but No, you are the very vessel of life, woman. That's Don't what listen I to him. I know. And you're doing all this work to bring in a baby. I can't even imagine. Oh God. I wish I had clients like you all day long. Convert them. All right, recording. So once the penis is gone, open up the leg. Don't look at the pussy, okay? Just don't. It's just, it's not good. Ever. Like, I mean, not that it's not good. It's probably not fucking good, but you'll get in trouble. And women are on the lookout. Men like love it. If you're to take a peek, which you like, no, I don't want to take a peek. Women, you want to take a peek, but they'll know because when the lookout guys are like, do it. I'm like, hell no. Okay, so you're rubbing. Okay, something to watch out for. If you're sick or otherwise stuffed up, you might be breathing out of your mouth, right? And you're like, and you're like not feeling good, and you're like, and next thing you know, you've like drooled on them. And you were like, oh, fuck, I just drooled on them. Did they notice? They didn't notice. They're, they're zoned out. Rub it in, rub it in. In fact, if you like get low on lotion, sometimes you don't plan very good, spit. They love it. They love it. They won't know. They won't know. It's good. And if they do know, you can also make up some rich people shit. Like, I swallowed crystals earlier today and their energy is coming through my spit. Okay? They'll love it. So you're working your leg. It's really fucking boring. You're looking at the clock. The clock is still not fucking moving. And then it's just forever. Like, you feel like you've definitely spent like a lifetime with this person. And it's just not getting any better. It's like a relationship that's dead. <sighs> Some people like you to touch their belly. It's usually perverted dudes, okay? So I usually just stay away because I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. But if you're going to touch it, here's the cool term. You do this whole thing. You're just rubbing in a circle, right? Okay, but they think it's magical. You go to the belly button, you like pull on the belly button like you're pulling a string, like an umbilical cord out, then they love it. I, I don't know what they think is happening, but they love it. They totally dig it. Great move. I would definitely perfect that one. You gotta be dead serious and you gotta be very, very serious about the whole thing. Okay, sometimes when you're massaging a dude, I do this thing for the arms. Hold on, I'm gonna get some lube. Okay. It's kind of cool and it's a chick because like, look how close I'm getting to her boob. It's like you just want to shake it, see what it feels like. You're not supposed to do that. Don't do that. And it's a shame because sometimes you see these like amazing breasts and ass and you know, it sucks because as a massage therapist, you see like the best of the best. You're working on like fucking like, you know, like 20 bodies a week. So we see a lot of fucking two sons bodies. You can't fucking pick it. You can't take that shit outside. Don't forget, no one has the perfect ass for kids like you see in a massage client. And but sometimes you see these tits, sometimes fake tits too, you just want to be like, what the hell are these things? They're like sticking like straight up like this. You just want to be like, what? It's like a melon, you know, but can't grab. But I'll show you what you can do. You can do the pecs. 
I'm getting pretty damn close to the nipple. I can feel fake boobage here. This girl doesn't have any, thank goodness. Also, fake boobs fuck up your back, FYI. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool because when they are fake, you can like feel the silicone. It's hilarious. Okay.